If you guys are anything like me and absolutely adore french fries, then you are going to love this recipe. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's salty, it's savory, and it is delicious. I'm Danny Spees, and for this quick bite, I'm making my spiced sweet potato wedges with a creamy garlic dipping sauce. And here's all you'll need. Two sweet potatoes, peeled and then cut into wedges. A tablespoon of olive oil, two teaspoons of curry powder, a teaspoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And for the garlic dipping sauce, two cloves of crushed garlic, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt, a teaspoon of white wine vinegar, a tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley, and some salt and pepper to taste. I've got the oven preheating at 400 degrees and I am gonna start by seasoning my potatoes. So I've got a tablespoon of olive oil that I'll drizzle right over the top, two teaspoons of curry powder. Now this curry powder is nice and sweet. A teaspoon of ground cumin, nice and smoky. And then one teaspoon of smoked paprika, which is both sweet and smoky. So we've got a lot of spice going on here without a lot of heat. Then to that, about a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. That's gonna make everything pop. Then you just wanna get your hands in there and start bringing everything together. And you just wanna make sure that all the potatoes have a nice thin coating of both the oil and the spices. Okay, so these are looking good. Mm. And they smell even better. The spices are so fragrant. Okay, now I am going to get my potatoes onto a rimmed baking sheet that I've sprayed down with a little bit of cooking spray, just to make sure they don't stick. Then you just want to lay them out and make sure that they're in a single layer and that they're not touching each other and overcrowded, because if they are, they end up steaming rather than roasting, and then we're not going to get the depth of flavor that we're looking for. Okay, perfect. So these are ready to go. So we're gonna get them into the oven. They're gonna cook for 30 minutes. It's gonna take 15 minutes on one side, then we'll flip them over and 15 minutes on the other side. So while that's cooking, let's get started on our sauce. Now, I'm a huge fan of garlic aioli, that garlicky mayo dip, and when I'm around it, I'll put it on just about anything I can find. So I wanted to come up with a version that was a little lighter and a little more nutritious. So what I do is I start with some plain fat-free Greek yogurt, and then I add a couple cloves of crushed garlic, a pinch, just a little bit of garlic powder. The two garlics have a different flavor, and I want to make sure that this sauce is really garlicky, so that's why I use both. Then just a splash of white wine vinegar. This gives it that tang you get when you have real mayo. A pinch of salt, and then about a tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley. This just makes the whole sauce nice and light and bright. Then all you have to do is bring it together. Then once you've got everything mixed together, you can just pop the sauce in the fridge and let it rest until you're ready to serve the fries. All right, so let's flip our potatoes. Mm -hmm. Looking good. So you're just gonna go one by one, the easiest way to do it, and just flip them over. Then once you've got them all flipped, they're going back into the oven for 15 more minutes. You know, when I was pregnant, especially in my first trimester, all I wanted was potatoes, any and all forms, but especially french fries. So I figured that it was in my best interest to come up with a recipe that was a little more nourishing than a traditional french fry. And I gotta tell you guys, this recipe ended up being my best friend. It smells so good. And yeah, they are nice and golden brown. So here's what I like to do. I pile them up on a serving plate and then I serve them alongside a couple tablespoons of that garlicky dipping sauce. And I gotta tell you, it is the perfect presentation because all you have to do is then grab a fry, dip it in the sauce, and enjoy. Mmm, that is so good. The spiciness of the fry with the cooling garlicky yogurt sauce, 
perfect combination. So the next time you're looking for a more nutritious version of a french fry, you have to try my spiced sweet potato wedges. They are the perfect clean eating alternative to a traditional fry. For more recipes like this, check out dannyspees.com. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you guys next time with another quick bite. So the next time you're looking, ready? Here we go, three, two. So the next